event like this is such a great way to become re-inspired. It's not that often that you get to reflect on your immediate past and see your own skill development. And it's even rarer that that skill development lines up with helping someone. MakerBot has been with us from the very beginning. When we decided to do Tom, we didn't really quite have enough printing power. MakerBot got us 10 printers within the span of a week. If you think about people who don't have resources and don't have access, that they need a customized solutions to their problem, they cannot afford it. But with the 3D printer, we can actually tailor the solution and customize the solution to the need of that specific person. We have about 20 different needs that have been identified in the community. Examples are getting from one wheelchair to another. How do you help a blind person walking down the street get context as to where they are? Our team is making the seismic link and it will give Parkinson's patients short-term feedback about the effectiveness of medications in reducing tremors. They begin prototyping and modeling on 3D printers, on CNC machines. The goal is at the end of 72 hours, have a finished working prototype. These are not products that are commercially available. Here, these people have taken their time to create something, in some cases unique for the individual, in some cases to be used by all individuals who have these kind of disabilities. My name is Kim Lathrop. I live on my own, and I only am provided 12 hours of care out of a 24-hour day. I use mouth sticks for pushing like light switches or the remote, but that's it. I don't have anything to grab objects and then move them. Right now I'm doing that with my teeth and my teeth only. One of the big things we've been trying to do is create a mouthpiece that will bear on the correct parts of the jaw and not cause discomfort or any pain. Having people with disabilities present, it is good design process. If you want to help a person with a disability, they need to be a part of that process. Kim came and joined us, and we instantly had a thousand percent better idea of what she needs. We've pretty much been using the printers from the very start. This is allowing us to do many versions quickly, going into SolidWorks and making it much more ergonomic. Now our final iteration is being printed as we speak. Oh, there we go! Oh, One of the other engineers and I started talking about what has this event meant for us personally. One person told me, until I came to Tom, I was selling cupcakes to save the rainforest of the Amazonas. And here in Tom, I am here as an engineer, using the best of my skills and the best of my knowledge to make a very big difference in the lives of other people. <laughs>